Hello everyone, welcome to episode of OC PDFR. Uh, we're gonna be in the 2015 Tahoe by Officer Underwood. Um, link in the description. It is from a uh, Vader pack. And uh, using this uh, Liberty City pretty severely that I've made. Um, it's not released, but uh, yeah, so, anyways, uh, we're gonna be uh, tonight. And it seems to like there is a possible injured um, pedestrian over here, so I'm gonna flip around and it's gonna do to help her out. So, alright, I'm gonna go call for ambulance. So, uh, so yeah, so, anyways, like I said, we're in some 2015 Tahoe. Um, link in the description using this uh, Liberty City Police um that I've made. Um, it's not released yet, so uh, but yeah, so uh, it will be released. I just gonna do like eight episodes with my full livery pack, and I won't be able to release it you know, after I'm done, you know, with it. So Oh, this guy here just ran a red light. How smart is that? Pull over! Pull over now! Ran a red right from a cop. This cigarette is my breakfast and lunch. Alright, so we're gonna be in traffic on a Sabre, occupied times one. He's on to a street. So basically we stopped him for running a look, really. Nice again. So we're gonna see what the deal is, you know, for running a red light, so. Driving, consider that you have red or red right in front of me. You know, you're driving like a lunatic. As for license registration and insurance as well. So basically, we're gonna be pretty much patrolling near Topaz Street down to Kansai Street. So. And we are going to go ahead and run her name real quick on the system so we're going to do that okay so it's citations to license valid so three times um not to work so she is going to be a state citation for the red validation over there so it's going to be for that Alright, so you're gonna be receiving citation, okay, for uh, right run light for $100, alright. Um, you're lucky that, you know, there's no cars coming by, and lucky enough you didn't like, get into collision. Otherwise, things would have been bad, but anyways, here's your citation, here's citation. alright, so that's gonna be for that. Um, so, you have a wonderful day and take care. Alright, so we're gonna be carried off for that traffic stop for me tonight, and now we're gonna go ahead and see what we're gonna do. So, uh, but it's like I said, anywhere between Toll Pass and um, Corsair Street is gonna be our, like I said, um, jurisdiction area. So. So pretty much, so we look on our map. So every on this of the map, our jurisdiction is going to end about here, and on this side it's going to about like right here. So depending on as long as we're paralyzing with the uh, you know Kansai Street and Topaz Street, we should be uh, fine. So. Hmm. 
So I didn't even do that. <laughs> I just uh, struck my siren right there. What is this guy doing over here? Down a bit of swarty, I see. I'm gonna go and follow this uh, blue out uh, for Oshi for a bit. Another injured civilian over here. I'm gonna go ahead and get ambulance for her. So we're gonna ambulance is gonna be around to pick her up. I don't really care about the breath result. I just want to get to the hospital where she can be in a treatment. So or to get treatment, not be treatment, but get treatment. So it's gonna be for that. Put it away. All right. So anyway, as soon as we can get she uh transported to a hospital, just get some medical treatment, so And this guy here is cross and crosswalk with a red hand up, so gonna do a pedestrian stop on this guy here, so Hey, stay right there! <coughs> Alright, so we're not gonna be on a, a pedestrian on a pedestrian stop. On this guy since you know he crossed on a crosswalk when their hand is up. So I'm going to ask for his ID first and then I'm gonna run it so it'll be Aaron uh Parish. So we are gonna go ahead and run his name. Oh, I don't wanna do that. There we go. So we born on August fourth, nineteen eighty six. Alright, so he is gonna be receiving a citation for jaywalking. Um, considering the fact that he was on a crosswalk with a red hand up. I get he was fucking a crosswalk, but he had a red hand up, and that still considered jaywalking. So, I mean, if he was, you know, walking with like a picture of a pedestrian, or anything that, you know, signifies as, you know, as walking on a crosswalk, I probably wouldn't bother but since he was walking on a crosswalk with a red hand which indicates you know do not walk so it's gonna be for that reason anyways I actually move on and um, you know hopefully that it's not get caught again so because it tends to let people do it get confused um, but I, again I get it you know walking on a crosswalk but, you know, red hand means do not walk. Anything that has a sign like the you know, walk sign or a sign of a pedestrian on a, on the uh, crosswalk screen is okay. But anything that indicates of not walking, like, you know, the do not walk sign or the red hand indicates, like, you know, do not walk. And a lot of people get confused between those things. So... Okay then, well this taxi here is cut off this car over here, so I'm gonna go ahead and Police, stop please, them real quick. Now. So this taxi over here just pretty much cut off their vehicle, so I'm gonna go and stop them for that, so. Alright, so let's have a chat with the uh, driver over here, so the deal is. So, like a pie times one. Hey there. I'm going to ask her it's driving since you cut up the vehicle. I pulled you over because you're driving like a shit face. Ask for the rest of the and pictures as well. Alright, let me go ahead and get a mistress over here. Alright, so I'm going to go ahead and run his name on the computer real quick. And Ambrose is going to take this guy to the hospital for his medical treatment, so. So it's going to be Dylan 
Sure, man. Let's see what this deal is. Okay, so it's two L's. Okay, so we deal on. Sure, man. So we're going to see what this um, deal list over here is. So, citation is one, license is by two times, not the warrant. So, I remember he's going to be receiving citation for the cut of the vehicle. So, it's going to be for that reason. So, So it's gonna be a citation. So it's gonna be a citation for hundred dollars since you know he cut off their vehicle. So it's gonna be for that matter. So, but uh, other than that, we're gonna clear it off and we're gonna be you know back ten night from that traffic stop. So, uh, so far we've pretty much been traffic stops, not any call outs just yet or pursuits. So, uh, I'm gonna say it's been pretty quiet um, recently. Or late I should say. So And of course it's gonna run a red right in front of me. So it's gonna get pulled for that. Come on guys, move. Come on, move. So let's come here in this van. Couldn't just run a red like right in front of me, so I'm gonna go and stop it for that, so So not sure what the deal is, but I can see here in a red like right in front of me, so that's the reason for the stop. I'm not gonna pull you over buddy. I'm more about this guy not not you, so Okay, so we're not gonna be a traffic on this uh, moonbeam. I think that's what it is. Occupy times one. South Union Drive East, so. Could be wrong. What kind of car is this again? I'm gonna go check again. It's going to be. Yep, it's gonna be a moonbeam. So. Occupy times one. Alright, it's gonna be times one female. Take it off for me. So right now we're in the pursuit of a red moon beam. I got pie times one female. Um, take it off for me and a chalk stop. So and in case of wondering why I do not call for a backup during um, vehicle pursuits, and I say this a lot of times, but I feel like I have to repeat like ten often times. Um, is that the fact that every time you call for a backup in this game during a um, vehicle pursuit, it just they're always reckless. So like they always cause chaos. They always cause you know. I kind of feel like that. Like I get it. You know, call for backup makes it more makes it more realistic. But you gotta realize that the cops in this game. Are like reckless. Um, I mean, they cause chaos, mayhem. Um, not only they will ramp into you, but they will ramp into anything in their path, and that's why I don't call for you know backup in big pursuits. However, I will if she goes on foot, but since it's a big pursuit, I don't call for backup. So, I mean. I honestly feel like that even though I think I mentioned that in one of my other episodes, but 
I kind of feel like they have to, you know, repeat things like over and over and over and over and over again. Like, you know, like for the, you know, continuing times because either people just don't want to remember or they just don't want to listen or they just tend to forget things or they just don't look back at that episode when I mentioned it or whatever. So that's the reason why I don't go for backup. So again, I don't go for backup because you know it's chaos, it's a mess, and all of the pajama stuff. So. So for me to try to keep this pursuit a bit more realistic, I'm going to do a solo until if she gets on foot, I will call for backup then, but right now, everything's going to be uh, solo. So hopefully that will, you know, cut off everything. Because again, I kind of feel like that I have to repeat everything. So. Go for a pit. Nope, couldn't do it. I'm over here. Can we go for a pit over here? There we go, right there. That's a pit right there. Oh, almost in the pit right there. Almost got it. Yeah, so once she bails on foot, that's when I'm going for backup. So. Oh, then she's making a turn onto. Uh, Fair Spar Street. This is your final warning. Pull over now. Right now we're in the area that's pretty much you know, impossible to do a pit because you know there are pedestrians and other cars around so and plus I don't want to risk something can be you know injury or kill over here so and plus she's making turns so she's going in circles as of right now. Now it's just gonna go straight. Over here. Nope, almost got it. We almost had the pit right there. Okay, it's probably not right there, that's... Alright, now she's on foot, now I'm gonna call for backup, so... Because sometimes, even though I'm... I'm gonna go ahead and get on my vehicle and chase from there. So, even though the, I'm the officer and I'm pursuing her, sometimes the game does not allow me to arrest. So, just I'll call for a you know, backup to arrest her for me. And she got hit by a car. Or by vehicle, I should say. There you go. Get my taser real quick. So she has a looks like a Glock in her right hand. Looks like. Oh, you jump! Get him. All right, five three on shots fired. Officer, gonna be a North Union Drive East. Drop that gun, lady. Drop that gun. Well, she has a gun in her, in her, she has a Glock in her right hand. Drop it. Looks like she's at an east on Union Drive East. Get out of the car. Alright, 5-3. She's gonna be in the, in the direct blue and furnace. Alert 
So right now we're all gonna be in a pursuit already. Another big pursuit. This time it's gonna be in the black. Dark blue furnace, I should say. Jesus. The game froze here for a second, which I thought I had a game crash. Not really, not, 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 not realizing that my vehicle will keep on going. So, best what happened was. So, the reason why I hit that wall is because my game tend to like froze for a bit. What I thought the game would crash, but it didn't. And when it unfroze, it, you know, made me drop to a wall. So. She's right there. The suspect is on foot. Come on, don't make me chase you. Now she's gonna be a goal. Out of the car. Now it's gonna be in a in a speedo. That's her right there. You guys are her. So right now she's stored in two vehicles. Uh, I'm gonna do show you a pit on her over here. God damn it! Freaking missed. Come on, get the fuck out of my way, dude. Alright, we'll go for right here. I got a car now, right now. Alright, pretty much shot all of the other three tires out. So, hoping that she will lose control. So. Yep, lost the other three tires. At this point on here. She is losing control right now. I'm gonna go from over here. Slowly exit the vehicle, please. You better get a car right now. You better get out. Get out right now. Fine, they got shots fired by officer. Coming on tour patch, two act five times one down. Don't you freaking move right now. Yeah, so she did have a Glock in her hand. So. I'm going to execute real quick. Alright, I'm going to call for corner out here. And I'm going to get rid of this uh, van as well. So. I'm going to have the roll blocked over here as well. So, this is when that you know, lot cars will come here and drive by. So, uh, but yeah, so that was pretty much an intense pursuit right there. Um, it got into it, you know, two stolen vehicles. Uh, she did shot at me before, so it's the reason why I had to shoot back at her. But other than that, we're gonna be cleared off and made back to the night from the, from the pursuit. That and the officer involved, you know, shooting, so it's gonna be for that. And uh, 
Yep, yeah, so... I mean, I could have shot her before, but first I thought it was necessary until as of right now, so... And of course, this um, moonbeam just ran right, right in front of me. So, I'm gonna go and see what their deal for that one is. So, over, over now. So we're going to stop them through their tears for running around by as well for driving a little bit of swirly as well. So gonna be on South of Frankfort Avenue, Frankfort. Police, please pull over now. It's probably drunk or something. Must be drunk. LCPD, please put your vehicle to the side of the road. Yeah, and they're probably drunk. Concerned every time they pull over, they get back to see what I mean. They pull over, but they're still going back into traffic. So they are probably driving while intoxicated. It looks like. So. I mean, the script is not broken. Um, the only reason why they're pulling over and, like I said, going back into traffic is that they are possibly driving while intoxicated. So basically, they're they're actually pulling over, but yet they're actually going back into traffic because they're either driving while intoxicated or they're high or something. So. It's not the um, LCP for itself. It's just the fact that you know they're just see what now it's exit your vehicle. Now they're gonna drive back into traffic. Like I said, either because they're high or something or driving while intoxicated. Um, pretty much the same thing happened in real life. You know, officer pulls them over. The person to pay over will go back into traffic. Only because they're either high or you know, or intoxicated, so. Police, please pull over now. I can't even read the paper anymore. I know what you mean. LCPD, please put your vehicle to the side of the road. I have a mind condition instead just going right in front of them. Alright, Jack, that's enough already. Come on, let's get out right now, dude. Get out right now. Alright. So. Anyways, I'm gonna put him in custody considering the fact that every time I put him over, he's been, you know, getting in out of traffic. 
which it gave me a suspicious reason that he could be driving while intoxicated or he could be high on something so <coughs> let me see if you nope I can do a breath test either but however I'm gonna go ahead and take him to the um, station over there so they can take the breath test in there so or a drug test because every time I pull him over he is always going back to, in the traffic so I'm guessing he's either high or something or he's driving you know while intoxicated so it's gonna be for um, those matter of reasons so I'm gonna put him back to the Tahoe and I'm gonna go ahead and drive him over there across the street so uh, pretty much we I want to say that we've been into a, into a few traffic stops however one of them turned into a pursuit and this one here turned to be like a you know a guy who's either high or driving while intoxicated because every time he pulls over he always goes back to the traffic so however they are going to do a breathalyzer test and drug test on him um, in this um, station so Um, other than that, we're gonna be cut off and we're gonna be um, 10 7. So, nothing really much, you know, nothing really much happened in this episode. Like I said, you know, a few attack stops, one turned to pursue, this one turned into, I wanna say, like a DUI or a DWI uh, situation. So, but other than that, uh, thank you for watching, and I'll see you next time. Bye!